This is a wig by the Foxy Silver Collection and it's called Maggie. And it is a human hair wig. Um, it's actually, I was surprised with the quality because these are very affordable wigs so I was not expecting a lot. But the hair is real and it's very soft. It's not Remy hair so it may not last as long as more expensive wigs but for the price, super cute. So I'll go ahead and show you the side. And back. And then the other side. So these are salt and pepper wigs, but they're... And if you um, are trying out human hair wigs for the first time, you'll notice, yes, they are, are softer and less fakely shiny because obviously they're real hair, they're not a synthetic plastic fiber. Uh, you will have to keep in mind that when you wash them, you do need to use a good shampoo and conditioner because it is real hair and you will have to style it. So you will have to curl it or flat iron it to get it to stay in the style that it came with. This one doesn't have any curls or anything, so it should be pretty shake and go easy which is nice. So I got this one for my mother because she had a hard time finding a gray wig that she liked. Most of them had too much gray. Um, most big manufacturers make like a 35% white hair to black hair for their salt and pepper, which is a little too much for most people. This collection has a lot of different um, options which are a little more interesting. Now if you want to go with like a Noriko wig and spend $300, you can get uh, more adventurous gray ones there as well. This one is called Maggie, used off of eBay. This one is from 2010, I believe, so they probably have newer wigs. And it comes in a bag with the cardboard instead of a box. So I'm pretty happy with this wig. It's a very cute cut. It's not bulky and wiggy like most wigs are. Um, it does have standard cap construction, so it's just wefted. And I will take it off in a second and show you the inside. And the cap is not too snug, which is nice. I mean, it fits well and I have a big head, so it's not uncomfortable. I'll come in closer to see so you can see the silver. These wigs would also make good costume wigs, like if you wanted to do a 1920s bob, this would be it. Here is the wig in the sunlight, and you can see that it is a dark brown with gray silver. So it's very flattering and natural looking. And I'll move it into the shade and hopefully it will still show up. Now it is designed for African American hair. It's not yakky texture, but it is a thicker texture, but it can really work for anybody. It does have a very tiny circle of a natural part, which is kind of punched into plastic. So it looks a little more like scalp. Um, and you can tweeze it to get it to be more noticeable. So this one has a classic cap construction with wefting. It has the adjustable kind of bra strap type things. This one is a three-tone color of dark brown, black, and 10% gray or silver. And it's a 3T280. It retails for about 
and you can find other ones in this collection for as low as 20 and up to 50 it really depends on the style you can find them at Sam's Beauty online as well as other places um, I do like it and from a distance you don't look like an old lady you just look you know like you're not 20 which is kind of the goal if you're going for a salt and pepper type wig so we'll go ahead and do the shake test and it moves very naturally because it is real hair of course the foxy silver collection does make um, synthetic as well so you can also get monofilament wigs if you want to have it be able to part anywhere and look like scalp so they have a lot of options so if you go to your local beauty supply store or wig store you can get this and you can also find them online if you have a suggestion on your favorite gray salt and pepper wig let me know in the comments below if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe thanks for watching